your boy Steve coming to you from Spitfire Studios in Los Angeles, California. Um, today we're looking at the Opus by East West, and uh, it's it's awesome. It's really cool. I've I've only had a little bit of time to dive into it, uh, but we wrote a song today, brand new, never been performed anywhere, never been done before. Um, and so we're going to jump in and build this out completely using the East West Opus uh, pack, which is just massive, like really brilliantly uh, recorded and meticulously recorded uh, orchestral instruments. So right now I've, I've got the Steinway uh, Grand Piano uh, pulled up. This is the uh, Steinway D Master Lite uh, in Logic here. And it's cool. We've got different microphone options that you can blend, lid positioning. It's got a really great design here. You've got master volume, pan, stereo spread, you can swap it. You got your attack, hold, sustain, all of the articulations, which I always love. It's a really wonderful layout and very intuitive. So let's take a look at some drums next. I'm just gonna go through and program. It's separated out here into libraries and database uh, in, in the way that you can browse it. So you can go through and do all of these. You know, you see you got your, your 56 Strat, your adrenalines, some twisted textures, funky ass loops, uh, gypsy, solo violin, show drums, uh, storm drum, all this stuff. Now on the database, this is the way I like to do it. For, for me, I'm a logic guy. So I'm used to, this is you know kind of consistent with how I uh, choose things in, in the library in Logic. Um, so I'm just gonna go drums, I'm gonna go drum kits. And anything that you have installed is gonna have this star next to it so that you can just jump right in. So let's do a 60s vintage kit. Let's see what that sounds like. So this is the Goliath one, this is the Storm Drum. So as you can see, you've just got tons and tons and tons of different drum kits. So I'm gonna go with the uh, Ministry of Rock Ludwig Elements, I believe. Yeah.
then we're gonna add some bass. Again, this is a brand new song, so I am just making this up as I go, but we will sort through it with a fine tooth comb. These sounds are great though, man, I love it. This is Hollywood Backup Singers, and this is pretty nuts, man. I, I do a lot of, this is going to, might put me out of a job. Um, I do a lot of my own background vocal stacks and everything. You have uh, all these controls on here. You've got, you know, different mixes of microphones, close, rear, and room. Um, you've got a bunch of reverbs, some stereo doubling, all these different parameters that you can mess with. I'm just working off the stock. Um, if, if. You know me already. Hi, I'm Steve. If you don't, uh, but if you know me, you know I like working with stock stuff and then moving on from there because a lot of attention to detail has already gone into this in building out these stock things. So I'm going to start with how they present it uh, because we've all paid money for these, you know. So um, this one is pretty cool. You've got you've got the browser. So I'm just looking through the libraries here. Uh, East West Hollywood Backup Singers. This is the play one. This is the perform area, a little mixer, all this stuff. So I'm just on the uh, on here. And this this patch that I'm doing is the background singers. It's a it's a combination. So you've got ums, oos, and ahs, and it's all velocity controlled. On your modulation wheel, on your MIDI controller, you can adjust the intensity of it. I know everybody's process is different. Uh, what I'm going to do, because I'm, I'm still kind of exploring this opus here, and so far I absolutely love it. But what I am going to do is I'm going to I'm just going to lay these vocals down, and then I'm going to start creating and just kind of get into it. I got something to tell ya. I got something to say. But I guess I'll wait a while more. We've been doing our own thing. Both got places to be, but something's missing when you're not here next to me. I'll leave the light on. I'll leave the light on. I'll leave the light on again. So this is a really cool thing, um, and I'm gonna 
I'm just going to go for it here and just play those hits on the chorus with the orchestrator. For me, the way that I, I prefer to work is to go through and actually, it, I, I don't know if it comes from my musical theater background or what, but I like to actually get into each part and kind of record it separately as if it was its own instrument. But I love this and like for something on the fly and just being able to like, especially for those of you that are doing film scoring um, and stuff like just to have. To be able to just. And just ride with that is amazing because you, you've got everything layered and it sounds so good. All right, so let's just jump in here on the chorus. I'll leave the light on again. We could be better. We could be so much better. We won't know until we try. We could be stronger. Yeah, nice. Okay. We can be better. We can be so much better. We won't know until we try. We can be stronger. That's so rad. Oh, man, that's rad. All right, next chorus. Let's just add this in, and then we'll add some strings. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to do that again. So I think I know what I want. How neat is that, man? It just plays. It plays the whole orchestra. Never with you on my mind. 
Bringing the strings there. You got the world on your shoulders, and I got nothing but time. I can spend do it with the modulation right here. with you on my mind. So I'll keep the light on. Nice. And you can see here, like, the, I'm trying to be very specific and deliberate about the velocities here. So, yeah, just vocals. I can spend forever with you on my mind. So I'll leave the light on. I'll leave the light on. This is just vocals and the orchestrator. I'll keep the light on again. Because we could be better. We could be so much better. But we won't know until we try. We could be stronger. All right, so let's get into some strings. Uh, there's just a few spots here that I want to have a little bit of a trade-off with. And this is with the East-West Hollywood strings, full strings, second violins, Marcado Stain Light. That does not sound good. <laughs> For fuck's sake. And so we've got we've got second violins, marcato sustained, light. We've got the violas, marcato sustained, cello, marcato sustained, and the bass is for a full section. So, One thing, both got places to be. Something's missing when you're not here next to me. I'll leave the light on. I'll leave the light on.
You wear your heart on your sleeve I think it's you just might be rubbing off on me You got the world on your shoulders And I got nothing but time I can spend forever with you on my mind So I'll keep the light on So again, so what I've done is I've gone through, we've used all of the East West, uh, the orchestrator, we've used the Hollywood strings and the Hollywood brass and the Hollywood woodwinds. And uh, what we're going to do now, I've converted everything to audio just so that I can, uh, that's my personal process. You can obviously do whatever you like to do, but uh, we're just going to mix this down now uh, into the final product. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at the East West. Uh, Opus, which is just massive, so much fun. Hope you enjoy the multi tracks. I'm gonna giving you MIDI files for everything. I'm giving you audio bounces of just the performance stuff, not my automation. And uh, yeah, happy mixing, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this song um, that I made specially for you, and uh, and hope you all are doing marvelously well and continue to do so. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.